All right, stop, collaborate, and listen. On this episode of One Man, One Hand, and No Real Plan, we cut up some brake pedals, we weld some things together, we make a new bracket, and change pretty much everything about how this was mounted. So taking our pedal, if I am here, I would want it somewhere about like that. So taking the pedal that came with the kit, I'm gonna sneak it up here. Maybe get it on. Now well, I can't get it on with what that is. I think what we're gonna do is cut this across here so knowing that the kit was originally designed to be under the floor of the cab and go through, this is how this pedal sat in operation. And you would push it like this, and that would move it. Knowing that, this is the arm that would engage the brake master cylinder by pushing it that way when this went down. And so you have one... The ratios are based on length, but you have one hole for manual and one hole for power. We are going to modify this arm to bolt up to this clutch pedal from a 66 Chevrolet C10. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this part off round, and we're going to cut this right here. Then we're going to take this arm rod i don't know what you would call it but you can see it had a place that it a bolt went through and locked it in place and it hung and we're simply going to bolt the two together and make our new pedal and then based on the length we'll figure out where our proper ratio is After cutting it off, it looks like I need to cut a little bit more, and then we're going to need to make a jog. We're hitting right there, and so we're going to need it to be out and over and then around. So, you've probably noticed the bandage on my face. I had to have a basal cell cut off, so you're probably going to see bandage or stitches. Well, I'll probably put a bandaid on every time I'm out here uh, during this whole video, just because I'm going to try and keep it clean. It'll appear a little bit, but it was no, no big deal. I didn't get hurt or nothing. But let's get the torch out and heat this up so that we can bend it and start making our arm to go around the steering column and work as a brake pedal. Now we got that bend done, so we need to bend it back over, probably up in this area. I don't know if I can do that yet or not. Of course, I want to get it in the same plane, so here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. This is about as boring as watching metal heat up. It is better than mowing or yard work or anything like that plumbing definitely better than plumbing so you can tell that this one isn't quite like to be I want it to be vertical with this piece this section and it's not quite, so I'm gonna heat it back up and bend it just a little bit more. Now 
much better. Nice. Now we're in that vertical plane we can work with. We gotta let it cool. So now it should make sense how I was bending that. And then we're in place and it fully clears the right side of the steering column. Thinking about, about how high I'd want it. I'd want to be able to just reach it and brake. So if I have that right about there, that seems like the most logical height. So this would be basically at the curb then. We're talking about wanting a hole and a hole to bolt through. Guess I could probably weld it too, but I've got the bent bracket or the bent pedal arm mocked up and I'm gonna drill a couple of half inch holes. Wonder if I should keep my band-aid like Nelly does. Hm. I don't know how hot this is, and I'm tired of getting burnt. So if that goes there, this might be the smarter way to do it. Yeah, it's still warm. Still warm. That'll mark them. Let's drill these guys. Got my bolt here. Put them together. It is also still, everything's hot. It's always hot. If I learned patience, I wouldn't get burnt. Probably less often. <laughs> okay, let's put this together and see what we got. Oh, how skinny are we? That's skinny. That's skinny. So now let's see how that mocks up. So now, hopefully, we can sneak this up in here. If we can, that'll answer my question. If we can't, then we're screwed. Actually, what we could do is just unbolt here and drop the assembly that way. But for but now I want to put it on. Ah, oh, the old loosen the bolt trick. Of course, now I gotta tighten it again. But I just happen to have the right tool for the job, maybe. How much travel is that? That is right there, right there. So center of the bolt from there. Oh, how am I gonna measure that without getting a tape measure? A few moments later. Yeah, I'll just get a tape measure. I only have one right frickin' here. I gotta redo it. All right. Our front edge is right at 10 and Three, three eighths, I think. And it goes all the way down to eight, or seven and seven eighths. So that's three and a half, in it travels three and a half inches. So that should be enough. If it were all the way up here, I wouldn't like it. But where it's sitting is not bad. I mean, I'd like it a little further back, but it clears around our steering column really well. Because what I'm thinking I'm going to do is end up welding it where it per ends up being permanently, but that's why I'm bolting it right now, is to get it where I want it before I just weld and guess. Now i got to find out if three and a half inches is a long enough stroke.
is three and a half inches too short. I need a four to one ratio on our pedal and our pedal length and how that's measured. And I looked this up on Willward. So if it's wrong, then blame Willward. But you measure from the center of your pedal to the pivot point. So ours is dead center here, up here. And you measure that, and then you measure the distance between your pivot point and where you will connect, which for us is right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Where it'll connect is like right there. I'm gonna mark that line roughly there. The height, 20 and a half to our um, center of our pad. And then the distance from the pivot to our mark is, let's say three inches. Three goes into 20, six is 18. That is not a good ratio. Let's go over this real quick. So what we originally had set up was 20 and a half in the center connected right here that's the length from this center pivot to the center of the pedal pad and so that is 20 and a half from there and our push location of where our pin would be is right there which is like three and a half so you have your overall length of 20 divided by three, which is 6.6 .6 forever. And we really need to get it closer to 15 divided by three to get to at least five. Four and a half, five, four to one, five to one, somewhere in that range. Willward recommends four and a half to five. I think our instruction said four to one, but if I can get to five to one, that should work. So to do that, this is, I have this laid out at 15 inches right here. So we have to slide this guy up to about there, which now almost means, it means this pedal is essentially at the perfect ratio. If you look at that, um, it's right at five. This hole would be five to one, give or take. And this is probably six or seven to one. I didn't measure it. But that, what that means for our pedal is we're going to have to cut this off and work on joining those two up higher in order to make this work. So I guess we're going to cut. So in order to make these up and see if it's going to work, I'm going to I laid it out. I've got a hole. I need to drill a hole here. And then I also need to cut that much off and see how well it works. So now if we did this halfway right, so let's tighten that up, go stick it in and see if we can get around the, cause we still gotta get around. Girl gets around. Okay, give that a whirl. So now we're back in here. Let's see if we can connect the dots. La, 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 la. It does not clear. We have to decide which one we're going to bend. Hope that works, because we're out of acetylene. All right, still hot, but let's give her the old college try. Oh, and I'm out of acetylene. Oh, that's high. I don't like that pedal that high, but no real way to fix that kind of wish i'd have thought of this before i cut all that but what if i flip this down or get 
get that out of there. There's no, nothing that says this has to stay where it is. I can't move the master cylinder down, but this isn't fixed. This bracket here, if I lower it down, I wonder what that does. So let's, oh gosh, these have been on a minute. <clears throat> Holy cow. Bring out the muscles. Ah! Jeez. Oh Lord, did I? I don't remember putting those on that hard. Of course, I. Mm. Oh. oh, I'm spinning my dang <sighs> nut on the back side. So we'll use our favorite go to trick, hopefully. Maybe we'll start it a little closer to the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've never felt like a bigger puss. Yeah, that's not true. That's not true. Oh, there we go. Jeez. That baby wasn't coming. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> that spot is dead center of our mount. If I ballpark that, that's pretty close. It's like what, an inch and a quarter? A little bit more than that. Now, if I flip this, oh yeah, it is lowered. Look, right there, we can tell it's lower. That lowers it an inch. What I don't like is that the pedal is so freaking high. I want it lower. I want to be comfortable driving. So let me take this guy and clamp that like that. That's kind of a ballpark. And then we'll put you back on. You know, the other thing I'm sitting here looking at is, what if I took this off, move this around, would that do some stuff for me? Yeah, it's a little too far that way, comparatively, but let me clamp it. Now that's interesting, because then our pedal is here. That's still super high, but I could bring that down. I think we're going to go drill another half inch hole in the bottom of that. Instantly taller. Or lower, or shorter, or whatever you want to call it. And hot. When you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Woo, hot! Because you're a dumbass. <laughs> So now with this guy drilled a little lower, we can take our pedal. Now that gets me down. That's a lot better than it was when we raised it. That's a ton more travel. Okay, so I've undone, I unbolted the pedal, and I'm working on trying to get this mocked up so we can see where we would be at this is oh man that is not very far doesn't shove it in at all and i'm already hitting the wall great story of my life get it together so you can break it to fix it i'm still not hit no way I want that travel and it's because my ratio is just absolute garbage now well balls oh balls <laughs> so in what feels like the 800th plan of trying to figure this out I've got I went ahead and took our little stubby um, shaft off and 
I've screwed this into the end we cut off, cut it off of. I'm going to figure out the length I need just by, I screwed this heim joint all the way in. And then I'm gonna stick it on here and just kinda figure out how much length will work. Let's go with right about there to show you where I'm at. I've got this bolted onto the opposite side. So it makes it line up just to the right. And the reason I did that, so if I use this bolt here, it'll be on the right side. And then I just need to cut it off at the appropriate distance, which we're gonna try and work off and then figure out a way to thread it because I don't have a right tap and I don't have any way to make it work. So, you know, small things. I'm gonna peek in here and see if it's the right length. Nope. Story of my life. Too long. Too long. Oh, balls. <laughs> that should work. So now, with that cut, you can see we've got a length we can work with. And I've got this threaded all the way in so that if I need to make it longer or whatever, but. So we can start to figure out our proper stroke. Uh, uh, uh. But maybe we can figure it out. Yeah, will that help? Nope. God, I hate brake pedals. Did I just start over? Is that the real question? Just scrap everything but the wall mount. So if I scrapped everything but the wall, this plate, and I just got rid of this this actual idea, this square, and then, but the problem still stays. I'm too tall. So I've reached the conclusion that the only way I'm going to be able to make everything work and have a good ratio for my pedal is to lower my master cylinder. I've been very hesitant to do that because these trucks narrow on a triangle type shape. And to maybe make that point, that is where our hood will hit. As we're lowering this, I have to make sure I've got room because the brake lines come out over here, so they've got to have the room to exit and get down and not vibrate against our hood. But I'm not worried about servicing them because the hood opens like this and folds up. So if you actually need to get in there and work on something, that's not a problem. I'm more worried about it rubbing against the inside of the hood and wearing a hole inside of, or in the line that comes out of the master cylinder, specifically the front one. But I, I looked at this for quite a while and I don't think I have any other solution other than to lower this master cylinder. Now we can take our pedal off and our bracket. Now that that's unbolted, I can undo these temporary little supports. And out comes our master cylinder. Put it somewhere safe. I'm gonna have to move my, my hood. I gotta move the hood. I'm going from center. I'm doing an inch and a half. Well, that's what we need it to be. Hooray. Then we gotta figure out our hole. The hole's gonna be fun. I'm not looking forward to the hole said by no man ever. So what I'm doing is I've, I've got these holes and I got three out of the four bolts in, but it'll be fine. I had to do a little bit of massaging on that one to get it to work perfect. But now we can see where our new hole should be for our master cylinder by simply drawing this around. Ta-da! 
course, the fun part is cutting it out. Now, one thing I did do is I marked where we were previously, but specifically where this bracket was, because it's got to go back up to here in order to keep our ratio the same. We got to have this the same height. We will be doing some modifications to make that work, but right now I'm worried about getting this plate on and getting the master cylinder mounted. The fun part is we just put this on and we get to take it off. Oh. Got it! Aha! We got her back in. The best part about cutting that circle out is I can use it to patch the top. So we're going to do that real quick before we mount everything in. Probably fill in the rest of the master cylinder holes from the previous part and move on. Well, I got her all welded up and grinded. This is the inside, and we got the front done too. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a little bit of primer on it and let that set up real quick. Tell you what, it's tools like this that make my life easier. After grinding and doing all that, my hand is shot. Like, it, I can't tell you, that's one of the reasons it takes me so long to do stuff is if I overdo it, then I lose months because my hand's worn out. My whole arm's worn out. And especially like right now, my thumb is burning from holding that grinder and, and getting everything cleaned up. And do, just to be able to do this, to shake paint instead of using my whole arm is incredibly better. Last thing I'm going to do tonight before I let the primer finish drying and call it a night is I'm going to cut these welds off so we can move that up when tomorrow comes. Oh, it's too fat for the chimney. A 3 8 24 NF plug tap is what it was. And apparently you need a drill size of 21 64 which I definitely bought to make sure I had. And I went ahead and got an actual die for it, just in case. I mean, if I need the tap, I might as well buy the die. That's sort of my thought on it. But that way we can do, we're gonna do everything right and be done. We'll have a nice, unwelded, solid shaft, drilled, tapped, ready to go. Now for the moment of truth, we're gonna, I've got our pretend hood in place and we're gonna stick this in and make sure it still clears after all that work. Hooray! Okay, good deal. Make sure I got the arrows pointing up. There. Mount it again. And you can see we still have enough room. So, not sure why I thought when it went down I wouldn't have enough room, but we clearly do, so I can still run my brake lines out of here it's down lower probably be easier to fill now because we're lower that way too so overall we'll call it a win so these are our three marks that were for this is where that is supposed to go right there and so we may have to modify how it mounts to the bracket in order to be able to keep bolting everything together and stay in alignment. But I think the way to start might be to actually hook up everything to the master cylinder and then make sure it's in alignment and then build the brackets from there. 
our push rod and obviously it's a little too long right now and then our pedal is right here and it goes together so essentially i want this that height i wonder if it would just sit better like that for now for holding it i want it to be up and maybe over just a little i guess i could put that other bar back in that might be the smart play. That would be a smidge higher than what it was. That's all right, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. And now I need a way. There, about like that. So we're looking at something about like that. The best way to make that work might be just to come in here and tack that right there. I can still get to my nut. Hut <laughs> hut and still play with my nut. And then I can also build uh, around it to make it stronger. Yeah, let's tack that. And that'll give us something to work with. If I take my heim joint right about there. So we need, that's where I have to thread to. And I need to cut it off probably. I may make it a little bit longer, just in case. We'll go here. So let's cut and tap that so we can start mocking everything up. Still pretty. One of the things I really want to make sure when I drill this out, since I don't have a lathe, is that this table is level. Much better. Double check that. Yep, our head does run straight up and down. So now I can set that up to drill straight up and down. Now this. Yeah. Okay. I think we've got that set up. So now we just need to center it where we're gonna drill. And I'm gonna clampy clamp it. I'm gonna double check that we're centered then i'm going to clamp my table down <sighs> it ain't going nowhere little luby that ought to be plenty far enough all right this has got one of those little pipe holders in it so we'll use it put a little more maybe a little more precision this time precision application of said lubrication in this situation that we are motivation in through Oh, I'm not a good poet. I won't make you continue to watch me drill tap this hole, but we'll get her done. Guess what worked? <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that makes me happy. That's going to be way better. Way better. Now, the factory side, had they machined a nice lip on it, so I'm going to mimic it. I won't be able to make it perfect, but... I'm gonna make it look somewhat pretty and I'll clean up where the vice was. Professional, homemade, and it'll work. So I went ahead and screwed that all the way in just to save myself the effort out here. Now, see if I can't oh. drop everything. Drop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. For right now, I'm going to use this existing hole that's a little higher. It's, it's higher than I would like. I could probably, let me see if I can put it down here too, which would help our ratio. But I want to see what this ratio ends up being real quick before we go too far into more holes.
No, nope, that's trying to break my tacks. Don't do that. But that works. That definitely worked. It's naturally sitting like right there. Brakes are fun. I know how much you guys love that sweet drill press action, so here comes some more. I went ahead and just took a wire brush and kind of cleaned up the top of it after I drilled that hole and sprayed some primer on it just so all that cut metal and stuff, I don't want any rust, but eh. Got speed holes in it. Crazy speed holes, but speed holes. While that's drying, I'm gonna start working on the bracket portion and figuring out what we're gonna do there to get everything solidified. So on this bracket, and I took, this was the original that we just used to space it. It's so much higher, and I like this, I made this rail for the dash to be removable as part um, I don't know exactly how the dash is all going to fit, but I wanted a solid mount across that tied into the roll cages, but then I also wanted a brace that could be removable for just access and, you know, because as of this moment, I'm hoping to run a uh, HVAC system and stuff, and it may be too hard to get in there with both of these bars in place, so we'll see. We may end up Need, not needing to have that be removable, but it's going to stay in that spot. I've got this piece of square tubing, and I really like this angle. And I want to let me get that out of the way so I can stab my head again. But what I'm thinking is, I'm just going to have it. I'll weld this piece to that because to remove the pedal, no matter what, you're going to have to unbolt this guy and pull it out so i really don't need this removable like i can make this whole footprint right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark that edge let me move my arm the other edge maybe a marker green seems to be the color i guess it's march so could be saint patrick's day soon mark that and then i'll have that same angle we'll drill a couple hole a hole here and a hole there and then i sh think this is thick enough i could probably tap it and just go in that way call it good and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and make them exactly the same for whoops all these magnets in my way all these magnets hey, hey. this side now it doesn't need to be removable. So I think we're just gonna manufacture them both exactly the same and use this as our other, this bolts through here and that'll support it and keep the pedal on and make it all safe. So we're just gonna cut this to length for where it needs to be and make a foot like that for it to be all pretty in the same. So I have that angle and for this piece, it's really not too hard to just set it down and then just match it up and draw it. And then it needs to be that wide. And so we'll just flip it and that makes that one. Once I cut it out, then I can use it to make the other side of this one. We'll call that a day. God, I'm a dumbass. Because you're a dumbass. <laughs> Cutting this off now we don't need that which might prove more difficult than i thought maybe not wait this guy's got the right idea he wore the brown pants so 
what I'm doing is figuring out where all this is gonna go and make sure it all works together and plays nice, it's friendly. You know, everybody wants good neighbors. There we go. That'll go there. And then this. And we did move that a lot. It was at this moment that he knew. He's short. Hmm. Hmm. So this bolts in. But that is too short now that we cut that off. Duh. We may just end up making a whole new piece. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. As you can see, we're not opposed to redoing everything. Safe. Hopefully this shows what's going on. I realize it may not have seen as well, but I'm putting this spacer here. We're going to weld this to there. Then we're going to drill a hole, drill a hole, tap, tap, and bolt that down. I'm going to you. I put this tab back on place. We're going to build the same side, but unfortunately the original one I had is now too short. When we cut the foot off, I didn't think about that. I should have just cut the the actual foot of it instead of, oh well. If you can't make mistakes, you can't learn. So I'm going to make it exactly the same way. But right now, I'm going to get ready to weld this on. So I found a piece of scrap. It's got a little bend in it from whatever I was using it before, but it actually isn't bad. I'm just gonna cut it a little long and see how it looks. For this to work properly, I'm going to have to have a riser because this is so much higher. And so I'm gonna set this right there. Put that there, and that brings up our gap to where it's touching. So I'm going to cut a little, uh, just a pad, and basically make a pad, and we'll weld it to that, and away we go. Ta-da! So sitting here thinking about how this is going to install. Once, if that's permanent on this side, then this will have to slide up and down. So what I need to do is flip this to where the nuts are on the inside and they're captive, and then that would make it significantly easier to install. That is two and a half, and that is a little over two and a half. So I think that'll work. Now I got to Tack back there, tack back there, and tack back there. Got the bracket out. I've got it cleaned up to weld, and we're going to reinforce this. Just wait on that, but I'm going to start welding it up. So I'm going to use this magnet. I'm going to tack the tip, and then I'm going to tap it back to get it nice and flush. In a month, maybe that'll be cool. For now, I gotta open a door. Woo! It's finally cooled down enough. Um, I need to drill these holes, but before I do that, I'm gonna grind this smooth so when we put it in there, we can actually fit it up and mark the holes where they need to be instead of, instead of guessing. Don't forget, pretty people need a full face shield. <laughs> now that we got it cleaned up, I'm gonna drill the holes. So now we just need to bring in, oops, our bracket, get it set in place, bolt it up. But that way we can mark our holes we just drilled and we'll basically be ready to call this bracket done. Now that we got those tightened down, we just draw a nice circle, oh, drop our pencil all the way down. Hoorah, hoorah. I brought both my pencil back and I figured I'd throw it in the paint booth while I was 
before I drill those other holes, get it all ready. And while the paint booth's doing its thing, I'm gonna drill and tap these real quick. Why won't you just go? There you go. Okay, we are about to put this thing together and have it be done done. First, our crossbar, that is in. Now, we'll undo our bolts here and we will take our bracket. All right, now, your one. My favorite part about this is I made it to where all the nuts can be put on with my ratcheting wrenches. So a socket or anything should fit. I'm pretty excited about that. We've got that bolted up and we can take our bolts so how i'm gonna do that is i'm gonna stick it up here through the middle boop, boop, boop. Boop, doop, boop. a little higher please yep just like savvy get you there and you come down there just like that and so now i've got those in and now i'm working on this guy okay there's that i bet i want no i'd rather go it that way now pull that forward again put my second washer on it and push it back come on i know you fit now i just got to step ah ah suck it trebek suck it trebek <laughs> that's just snug let's see now <laughs> like it's supposed to super solid and once we get these bolted down actually bolted down i've just got one in um i need to figure out why this one's not threading right but the others are working just gotta do it by fingers but anyway look at that i have a functioning brake pedal and best of all and i do need to tweak it just a little it clears everything it's solid oh look at that i'm super pumped i think we're gonna stop there there's a few little things we need to sort out. The thread on that one bolt wasn't quite going in right. Um, not sure what's up with that, but I'm really happy with, we lowered this, we got the whole bracketry built, or redone, I should say. We've got the pedal set up, put together, and quite honestly, we've got it as good as we can set it up for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please consider hitting the like button or even subscribing. We're upward penny, all lowercase on Instagram. I try and post pictures throughout as I work in between videos over there. And until the next time, we're just going to keep on working.